Got myself a large box in the mail, and I don't think it's a human head. Actually, I know what this box is. This comes to us from Nameless Media, and uh, they were nice enough to send me this big giant box of uh, DVDs and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So I thought instead of just showing you what I got inside, yes, I got a pair of scissors with me, Instead of actually showing you what I got inside the box, we would do an unboxing first, and then we would have a close-up look at all the stuff that we got inside. So let's go ahead, and we'll go ahead and cut the seal, and we'll get this rather large box opened up. And inside one box, we get ourselves two smaller boxes and a stack of DVDs here. Nameless Media distributes uh, steel cases, steel case movies, and uh, movie collectibles, uh, one of which, I think I know what this one is, uh, looking forward to opening that one. We'll open that one up second, but why don't we first have a look at the pile of movies here. Two reasons, by the way, why we're doing this outside. One of, one of which, it's it's a really nice fall-October day. It's, it's cool out here, it's not super hot, and uh, of course, being that these are really large boxes as well, um, I just don't have the space to open these on my normal reviewing backdrop. So we're going to open them up here, have a look at all the stuff that we got, and then we'll have a closer look uh, once we once we get inside. Of the stack of movies Nameless Media sent, they uh, included Dream Cruise. I don't know if I've ever really seen Dream Cruise. Um, they also included Masters of Horror se Season 1, uh, Masters of Horror Season 2, Waxwork, that's one of my favorite, uh, just one of those guilty pleasure movies uh, growing up. Waxwork 2, Lost in Time. <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme movie, Knock Off. This one uh, stars, I think, is it Rob Schneider in it? And uh, whole, all about knockoff uh, denim jeans and knockoff things that, uh, you know, I think we're hiding bombs and stuff in it. It's definitely not one of Jean-Claude's better films, but I've uh, got that. And you'll notice that all of these cases um, are actually in the book uh, sort of DVD cases rather than the regular conventional cases that you find in stores. This is some of the stuff that Nameless Media are known for. Um, they also sent Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. I can't remember the last time I've seen this movie. Looking forward to giving that another look. And uh, they also sent the uh, like the book-cased version of Evil Dead, uh, the extended cut. Now this is the remake, not the original one with Bruce Campbell. Let's go ahead and open up box number two. It probably seems a little strange, too, that I'm using scissors. I just don't have my knives with me right now. So I'm going to open up the first box of the two brown boxes. And let's see what we got inside. Oh, this is neat. This is uh, the original Evil Dead. Now, I think this is in German. Tans de Tuffel. The Ultimate Collector's Fan Edition. I mean, clearly it's a large box. I don't know if it's got just... It must have something above and beyond just the movie. Here we go, on the back. Oh, that's neat. It's got the poster. It's got the bookcase. It's got also a t-shirt. And it's got a replica of the girl from the front of the cover. The cover right here. And, of course, all of this is... Again, I believe it is in German, but down below there is English. Limited three-disc edition. Um, and then there's a fan t-shirt. There's a poster. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. Like I said, I think I know what this one is. Um, because when I was speaking with Nameless Media, they had... This was brought up, this particular collectible. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one opened up. Just cut the tape on the sides. Or at least I thought I cut the tape on the sides. There we go. Give it a good old cut. I've just got my camera in my one hand here. There we go. And opening up the second box. What do we have in here? We have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And even though it says Die Ruck here, um, I believe this is Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the next generation. 
And that's exactly what it is. It's Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation, starring Matthew McConaughey and Renee Zellweger. Would you actually believe that Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation, is one of my favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacres? I know many people would say, what? What? Next Generation is your favorite? I don't know, there's something about it that I've always really loved about The Next Generation. Uh, we spin around on the back, and it looks like there's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation, the bookcase. Um, as well as this is this is what really got me interested. Uh, there's a hand colored replica statue of Leatherface in drag right there. Now that we're back in the house, let's have a closer look at some of the things that we got inside the box. So here we have Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. I, I've opened a couple of these just to show you what these sort of cases look like versus some of the things you may normally find in retail stores. Um, there's a little back insert. Just took the, take that off. Uh, this is a hard cardboard booklet, and when you open it up inside, usually you see a, a dual case. One CD is on the one side, and then you've got, in this case, you've actually got two on the other side. Other than just the titles, um, the rest of the font and everything else is, is usually in, uh, I believe again, in German. What's neat though is the interior, the insert, is sort of like a magazine pamphlet. It gives you some information about the character and about the background of the movie. Uh, here though, for Elvira, it's actually in English, which is good. And it just gives you like a little behind the scenes, tells you about the movie. Tells you a little bit about uh, the people that worked on the movie, for example. Uh, but we just kind of flipped through it. It's really impressive. Like, you would never... Every once in a while, you may get limited edition releases or exclusives to stores where they may have similar sort of thing. But it's neat that you have, uh, in this case, a movie that's got the insert already in, in part of the book. It's not something that, you know, it comes with it once you take the wrap off. And it's always something that you end up ultimately losing. So a uh, really nice professional laid out display Again, having the booklet in the interior, and then you've got the movie and the features on either side. Uh, the other one I opened up here was Evil Dead, the extended cut. Uh, a very, very well-made, well-produced uh, remake. Here we've got the extended cut on the one side, a booklet in the interior, the middle. And then we have a look on the other side there. Uh, and then there's the uncut version. Uh, inside, in between all of that, is once again a, a little booklet here. Now, this booklet isn't, unfortunately, in English, but what you are treated to instead is some fantastic images, behind-the-scenes shots of, uh, of the way that the movie was made. Very gruesome. Gruesome movie was the Evil Dead remake, but very, again, well, well done. So, again, these are just a couple of the examples of the things that Nameless Media are producing. They sort of do the like the pr promotional work for movies, giving you, like, you know, well-produced, high-quality sort of uh, presented, uh, you know, movies like this in the booklets. I've also gone ahead and opened up the Evil Dead uh, exclusive statue with the the movie and also the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Next Generation that also came with the statue. Let's have a look at those. So what you get with the Evil Dead exclusive set, of course, you get the statue we're going to look at in a second. You get a little brochure. Tells you everything that's going to be coming inside. Comes with a hand-colored bust, of course, the main box, the movie, a poster, and a t-shirt, which has the same print and titling as the poster in the case. Um, you also get yourself another promotional artwork. Now, I don't know if this was actually some of the promotional work that they did for the Evil Dead Extended Cut, where they actually gave you the, the, uh, the flooring and the chains. That's really cool. I love that. And again, promoting some of uh, some of the expansions that they've added, the extra stuff, the extra goodies that they've included along with the uh, the Evil Dead extended cut, the remake extended cut. And then there's the other side. Very cool. Uh, then, of course, you get yourself a T-shirt. Now, the T-shirt is the same as the movie, which I just so happen to have over here. I forgot to actually bring it over. There it is right there. Uh, it, the, post, the poster and the t-shirt is the exact same thing with the title Tans de... I don't know how you pronounce it correctly. It's Tans de Tuffel. It's the limited three-disc edition of Evil Dead. Uh, here's the poster, which for the limitations of the backdrop here, 
I'll just open a little bit so you guys can see. There's the poster right there. It has the titling up at the top, but then it does have the English underneath the Evil Dead. Uh, in film, Vaughn Sam Raimi. And it gives you the full cast down below there as well. Then we can go ahead and look at the movie itself. It comes with like a little sleevelet. Pull that off. The sleeve just gives you like a little bit of a read up on the back. And then you've got the same presentation as we looked at with the other movies. Kind of like a booklet, a hardbound booklet with the movie on the one side. This is the Blu-ray disc. And then on the other side, it's also Blu-ray. And uh, this one's Blu-ray here. Now one probably is, yeah, one is the remastered cut. Doing my best to translate that. Here's the bonus features. And uh, here is the original picture. The original version, I guess this would be, yeah, the remastered uncut version. And then the bonus disc there. Those are luckily in English. Nice little booklet in the interior. Also not presented in English, but still you get all little behind the scenes images. of course, behind Evil Dead, the pro production of Evil Dead. Again, really neat. I like that. I like that a lot. Speaking of neat, you get yourself a hand-painted bust featuring the uh, iconic image of the girl that's coming out from the ground and then, you know, the spirits are pulling her down. Or I guess she's trying to escape. The spirits are pulling her down. You can see very, very nicely painted. Add some nice shading and maybe even like lighting that they've added to the side there. Nice detailing there. You've got the titling of the movie on the, on the bottom here. A really faithful recreation of the way it looked in the poster. Hand is reaching right out to you. And what's neat about this, if we spin this around, there's a big gap in the back. That's because you can take the movie, and the movie slides right into the back here, just like that. Now, there is also this little ribbon that can assist pulling this out. Um, if you have a difficult time, you could easily just push it, you know, tilt it back to slide the case out. Uh, it is heavy. It feels as if it's probably made of like a resin. Uh, we flip it upside down, it's got some nice felt layer underneath there, so it's not gonna scratch a surface that you put it on. But uh, let me also say, very, very heavy piece. Beautifully painted, beautifully sculpted, and a nice way again to showcase the movie that comes included with it. Here's what was included with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the next generation. You got yourself a picture indicating that it is a hand-colored a uh, statue bust, uh, again, like a little display piece. It comes with from Nameless and uh, telling us that it's 318 out of 333. There's the back of it. I don't know if I've ever seen this artwork before. I'm wondering if it is specific to Nameless. Of course, I've seen this image before and I've seen this image before, but uh, I have not seen it drawn like this before. So I'm curious as to maybe this image has come from Nameless specifically. Then, like The Evil Dead, you get the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in a hardbound book on the top, Renee Zellweger and Matthew McConaughey. And there's what it looks like on the side. There's what it looks like on the back. Telling us, even though I am unable to translate that, I can see that that clearly says limited to 333 pieces. And there's also the genuine seal of approval from Nameless and down below there as well. We open up the booklet. On the one side, you've got Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the uncut version, which is running time is 87 minutes. And then on the other side, that artwork we were just discussing, this must be... Now, this is the uncut version, but on here is also an uncut version as well. Now, both of them, uh, this one's DVD. This one here is Blu-ray. That would be the difference between the two. This one runs 83 minutes plus bonus. This one here surprisingly runs 87 minutes plus bonus. So I don't know if perhaps the Blu-ray gets a longer runtime than the standard DVD, even though they're both uh, marketed as being uncut. 
Then you've got yourself the booklet in, in between. Um, not presented here again in English, but at the very least you still get some images of the movie. I don't know what it is. I really like Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Next Generation. Most people will usually think of that as the black sheep of the franchise, but I actually quite like Texas Chainsaw, Mas Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Next Generation. And like The Evil Dead, Nameless Entertainment has also produced a Texas Chainsaw Massacre display. Sort of a, like a little, I feel as if, again, it could be like a resin, but like a resin uh, sort of standee where the movie can be pr presented. Now, these would be, again, in limited quantities. They probably circulate these around to different stores and different places that are circulating and uh, selling the uh, the movie itself. So it's very, very cool to get a hand on something like this that you wouldn't normally see in retail stores. It's not something you can simply just go online and pick up. Uh, we got the Texas Chainsaw Mask of the Next Generation. More importantly, I, I should say it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and then you've got the next generation running down below in almost like a impressed, indented font. It, uh, it feels textured versus the rest of the base. I like how Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of sticks further out, and it's a different color. It's also got a three-dimensional look. We can spin it right around. And yes, it does actually have still the slotting on the back to support the movie. I'll show you that in a second as well. A very cool looking, neat way to uh, to showcase the movie. Again, you've got this three-dimensional fonted logo at the top there. And of course, one cannot, one, as try as, as hard as they may, they will not be able to overlook a, a drag dressed leather face sitting atop of the uh, the font there. Taking in what looks to be similar cues from the case, right down to the uh, the red stockings, and uh, I guess that's a, a dress and overcoat, or like a robe that he is wearing, with chainsaw in hand. Again, they've taken the same similar image, and they look as if they've flipped it, they've inverted it around, and uh, you've got Leatherface there perched atop of the, uh, the, the standee. It's a very heavy standee. This one actually might feel a little bit heavier than the one the one that was for Evil Dead. This one we can flip upside down. And you've got Texas Chainsaw Massacre of the Next Generation, made by Nameless, limited edition. And uh, then you've got their website there, www.nameless-media-de. It says, this is not a toy, it's for decoration only. Real close-up look, as best as I can give it. Very nicely painted. Not the most prettiest of leather faces. Not that leather face was pretty to start off with. But it does look very accurate to the way it does on the case itself. You've got the chainsaw, which I guess would be a very fragile piece. You'd want to be very careful of that. But you can see how very intricately they painted even the chainsaw blade there. Chainsaw is fully gripped in hand. Nicely sculpted hair there as well. I wish I... I wish I did have a scale in front of me so I could have given you a proper read of how heavy this is. Um, and as I'd mentioned already, there's a little slot on the back that you can then take the movie. Preferably, I would say spine out so you can see the movie facing inward. You know, when you're looking in, you can see the spine of the movie. And it's a great way to showcase the movie once again. Nameless Media uh, has... If you check out their website, they do a whole slew of different distribution, sort of promotional work for movies. It is very, very cool, the stuff that they're making over there. And uh, again, a big thank you for taking the time to send a box my way so I was able to open it up and uh, showcase the stuff that they, they are making uh, to you guys, you guys, the viewers. Again, if you guys are interested in checking out any more from Nameless Media, I'll put the link down below. You can head over to their website. Now, it will not be in English, but at the very least, you'd be able to see uh, some of the promotional pieces that they are producing. Uh, a lot of really neat ways to, like I said, showcase uh, movies that are very near and dear to most of our hearts. I probably would more so people would gravitate a little bit more to saying that for The Evil Dead. And not so much for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation, but again... Just so happens to be one of my favorite chainsaw movies. I know, don't think ill of me. 
Today, we were having a look at an unboxing, actually, from the folks over at Nameless Media. If you guys haven't had a chance, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. More videos will be coming your way. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.